Have you heard people saying that the number seven is a lucky number? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Stay tuned to see how the number seven applies to businesses. Hi guys, my name is Carla Milanov and today I'm gonna to be breaking down the most important rule you need to follow when it comes to marketing. But before we begin, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you'll get notified each time a new video comes out. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about the number seven and how it works in business. And if you think about it, marketing constantly changes and it's changed so much over the past couple of years. You used to be able to build your business and grow your audience through one social platform. But with so many competitors out there, you can no longer grow your business with just one platform. People need to see your content at least seven times before they end up converting and turning into your customer. So once they clearly and visibly see your content at least seven times, interact with your brand in some way, they are more likely to convert. So let's take this a step further and break down how you can leverage this rule of seven and how you can get potential customers to see your content at least seven times. Now the first and obvious way is to be on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, you name it. When you're on social media, it shows your potential and current customers that you are there. But you can't just have an account, you have to be present. You need to interact with customers, whether that be replying back to comments, doing live Q and A's, giving shout outs. The more you interact, the more people feel connected to you and when that happens, they start to trust you more and trust that you have their best interest. You also need to leverage SEO. And for those of you who don't know what SEO is, in a short summary, it's search engine optimization. But more specifically, it's the process of growing the quality and quantity of your website traffic by increasing the visibility of your website. And by being visible on these search engines, more people are going to see you. And once they see you, they're gonna associate you with your brand. And once they associate your brand with you, that's how you can expand. And you need to make sure that you're on Google because it's the most popular search engine. And if you're not on Google, then you won't get as many people viewing your brand, your product, your business. And depending on the type of business you are growing, you want to be on YouTube as well. Most people think YouTube is just a place to watch videos but it's actually another form of search. Think about it. If you buy a product, but don't know how to fully use it, where do you typically go to learn how to use it? Or if you are trying to watch a step-by-step -step recipe on how to make something, you probably are on YouTube watching someone else make the recipe, right? So depending on your business, utilize YouTube because the more avenues you offer, the more people will see your content and hopefully the same type of people are seeing the same content. Remember, your potential customers need to see your content at least seven times before they pull the trigger. Another way to get people to see your content is through paid ads. The two biggest avenues for paid ads are Google and Facebook. Now, most of you are familiar with Google ads, where they appear on the very top or bottom of the search page. But with Facebook, it's a little different. And what I like about Facebook is that you can actually check out your competitors' ads on Facebook to see what they're doing. Now, of course, you don't want to copy their ad, but it's always good to know what your competitors are up to and how they are driving traffic. And the way you can do this is to go to your competitor's Facebook page, click on Info and Ads, and from there, you can see all the ads they are running. Now, another way to get your content at least seven times in front of your potential customers is to also update your content on a regular basis. So often people will create an ad or come up with a post to try and target new people, but what they forget is they already have existing customers. You need to keep them engaged, and by doing so, you need to update your content. And by doing so, your rankings will continue to stay high on search engines. Remember, search engines push out new and relevant content. If you don't keep your content relevant, then the search engines will push your rankings down. And lastly, this may sound so simple, but people have that fear of annoying others with reposting the same content. And I've had that fear as well, but the thing is you have to realize is 
if you have people who truly like you or your brand or company, they want to see your content. And just because you posted once doesn't mean everyone will see it. In fact, probably only half of your followers or potential new customers will see it. So it's okay to post the same content again. In fact, I suggest you post the same content three, four, five times over the course of a year. This not only allows more people to see your content, but it also makes it easier on you when having to come up with content to post. So to recap, you need to have your content seen at least seven times to get people familiar with you, your brand, your company, before they trust and buy from you. Build a sense of trust and share valuable content. And once you do that, your followers will turn into customers and you will get more potential leads. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it, and leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.